Hi, this is Dr. K from the Center for Functional Health, and today I want to talk about hip mobility. So your hip joint is a ball and socket joint, and our goal behind hip mobility, obviously, is to keep it mobile. So the more mobile you are, the better you are. So a few things that we're going to start with is we have a stability ball, which is a gymnastic ball, we have a chair, we have a rope to help us stretching, and we have a pole. So first, to warm up the hips, you're going to sit on the stability ball, and you're just going to make these simple, easy circle with your hips. So you're not doing this whole thing. You know, that's not really what you're looking for. You're looking for this hip motion. So just the hips are moving in one direction. You move counterclockwise, and then you can do it the other way. You move clockwise, nice and simple. And you would do like five reps to each side. See how you feel. Do four reps to each side, don't forget to go back and forth, then three reps, then two reps, then one rep. So it's nice and simple. So again, the idea is just you want to get the hips moving nice and simple and easy. Nothing should cause any pain. So this is a great way to warm up the hips. Now, you can take even a wider stance and really start leaning into your hips this way, nice and easy. So every time that ball goes in, you're going to feel this adductor stretch. Every time you're going to feel this adductor stretch. So just making, again, circles with a wider stance one way and then the other way. So after you do that, you're then going to use the pole to help you. So you're going to use the pole for balance. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring that knee up to the chest. So again, this is engaging hip flexor. You're going to turn it out. It's going to go behind you and go back up the same way you came in. So that's one. And then the other one is going behind you going up and turning it around. So again, you're gonna first go up, you're then gonna take it out, you're gonna go behind, come back up the way you came before, come back to that neutral position in the beginning, take it behind you, turn it out, come back up and come down again. And then you do the same thing with the other leg. So you switch, so watch. So you're gonna have your knee go up, you're gonna go out, it's gonna go behind you and come back the same way. So I'm gonna show you from the side. So from the side, it was like this. So my knee comes up, you go out. See how my leg goes behind? I come back out the same way, come forward. Then I'm gonna move the leg back. See that? Bring it up and around and down. So it's nice and easy. Now, if it gets too complicated for you, you can just hold your hips up and make circles nice and easy one way and then you can go the other way real simple you just want to get that hip mobility in there so that's the hip movement for that all right next we're going to do what's called bird dog so with bird dog we want to make sure that our movements are deliberate meaning we're concentrating on the movement pattern so we're here make sure that you're not going to hold your neck up like that make sure that your nose perpendicular to forward looking right down and you're going to take your leg and you're going to go straight out Hold that for a second, bring that back in. Next, you bring your foot leg up like that, like almost like a fire hydrant. And next, you bring up this way like you're pumping it. So you go one, straight out. See how I hold that for a sec? Come back in, lift to the side like a fire hydrant move. Come back in and then heel to the sky. These are pumps or works the gluteal muscles and it works your hip and it's stretching your hip flexor muscle as well. So let's go that from the side again. So we're going to go straight out like this. Notice my foot, my toe is pointing up towards my knee. So I'm going to stretch my calf. I'm going to bring it back in. You can do a fire hydrant. Come back this way and then heel to the sky. So we're getting our glute and we're getting our psoas muscle. So again, we're back out. Nice and straight. Again, take notice of my head. I'm not looking up. Bring it back down, reset. Bring it to the side. Bring it back down. And bring it straight up. So again, that's hip mobility from a bird dog. All right, next one we're gonna do is a sitting turn. So you're gonna let your leg and knee come down. Reach this way here. Come back out. Turn the other way and reach again. Nice and simple, easy movements. Make sure you're reaching. And these are, again, are gonna open up the hips and give you some wonderful mobility. 
each time you go over to the side, see if you can go down a little bit more. And you're gonna see why this is important when I show you the next two moves. So nice and simple. So the next one that we go from there is we do the pigeon. So the pigeon, or supine first, I'm sorry, on your back, you're gonna have one ankle cross over the other side, reach in through so you can hold the back of your leg. If you can't get there, use a rope to help you. Cross it over, bring it in. Now the key on this one is if you want to get a little bit more hip motion, bring your leg to the other side. And you can turn the other way. You can really feel this in your glute. Specifically a muscle called the piriformis. Switch legs. So I'm hooking through, bringing it in. Once I feel that tissue engaged, meaning tighten, on this side right through here, I'm then gonna move over a little bit over here and that really stretches it that much more. And again, if you can, drop a little more with the rope. Turn that way. Nice and simple. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna talk about is the pigeon. I'll show you from both sides. So you're going to put your ankle in front of your hip. So my ankle and my foot is resting right here. Nice and simple. Now, for a lot of people, if they're really, really tight, they cannot get to the ground. But if you can, you want to get to the ground nice and slow. Just like that. Drop your chin. Real easy. Again, if you're tight and you can't do it, and one side is always going to be tighter than the other, start up here and just work your way down a little bit. You can do these little micro movements, nice and easy until that tissue, again, the tissue or the piriformis, all the way down. Nice and simple. And the next move that if you can do that pigeon is you do an elevated pigeon. So this is where the chair comes into play. So I'm gonna put my leg back here on the chair, like this, you can pad it up, nice and simple. Reach down, and what I'm doing is, I'm then reaching. So I'm reaching to the leg that's down, butt that's down, I'm reaching. Nice and simple. Switch legs. Get in position, again, you can pat up. Get the leg back there, and again, one side's gonna be easier than the other. And then you reach. So these are great, simple, easy hip mobility movements. With respect to repetitions, think three to five repetitions. With respect to how long, how you're gonna hold that stretch for, think three to five seconds. And you can do three to five seconds in certain sets. So you can do three to five seconds for three to five sets. All right, that's it, nice and simple. One more thing, it shouldn't cause any pain. If there's pain, please stop right away. And I'll see you soon, take care.